So first stop, a lot of this first barrel has gone in to water the rams. They didn't even budge while I was filling their bucket full of water. It looks messy, that's just the duckweed and leaves from the spring, but it's fresh water. And they're lovely and cozy. They had their breakfast, they have their hay, and now they have more water, a whole barrel full. They only had about a fifth of amount of water earlier. So they're full up now until the thaw arrives, boys. I was uh, watering the rams and the sheep out of this tank, but it's now frozen solid. So anyway, it's frozen pretty thick. That's a good thickness there. That's about an inch of that. And then this is solid underneath. Isn't that right there? There's no drinking in that. There's no drinking in that. Okay. So, and I have to walk so carefully because the stones from the rain last night are solid ice. So, the next, yes! The next stop are the horses. Oh, really? thought I was really clever. I knew the mains were going to freeze. So I filled this bin barrel up Man. full of water, but I forgot to insulate around it and it is frozen solid. So that's such a rookie mistake. I didn't think about it because I knew the mains were going to freeze solid. So you can see there's a bit of water that I gave them earlier in there. This one is frozen solid, and I'm going to open these up and fill the tank up, and hopefully the water will, um, the mains will unfreeze. Everybody's in there. Miss Daisy Rose standing on the outside, the other two inside. And then the balance of this goes for the sheep over there. But I'm going to do the horses first because they've really, they've sucked this tank dry. Or what water I put in, they've already drunk this morning. And that was from the house. So, and uh, I need to leave some water for me to cook and uh, drink myself. So that's why I went down to the aquifer. Hey, you. Don't fall in the water tank. No, you're going to climb up on Oh, there we go. Anyway, water tank's filled. But you can see the horses weren't thirsty because I gave them water earlier today or earlier this morning. So, oh, now I'm going to bring this bucket down to the sheep because they had a lot earlier this morning as well. And then there's a bit more here. So I'm going to carry the bucket <laughs> with the cat on my shoulder. Let's see how long he stays on me. Oh, no, he jumped off. Oh, he's trying to get a drink of the water. Kitty, are you sure that's advisable? Kitty, kitty, come here. Kitty, kitty, kitty. You thirsty, come here. Come here, look, there's water in there. Yeah, I'll let you drink out of that. There you go. There you go. Yeah, no, I wouldn't advise you to go and drink out of the horse tank. Yep, and the dog wants some too. Oh, all the dogs do. <laughs> oh, the horses are coming out. 
Now, I left the yard intentionally mucky because it makes it so the horses don't slip on the concrete. So it's intentionally mucky. If you're looking at my mucky yard, it's not raked so that the straw and hay and manure I can walk on and not slip. And the horses can walk on not and not slip. Miss Daisy Rose is having a sup. But the cat has disappeared. So everybody's drinking this before I bring it to the sheep. Are you having some too? Everybody's thirsty. This is something that a lot of people don't realize. Uh, cold weather actually makes animals more thirsty. Cold frozen weather than if it is um, uh, milder weather and hot. They're really, really thirsty. So they need to have access to water. And sheep in particular have real problems if they uh, don't have water. It can be a real, real health issue for sheep. And you can't just leave them out in grazing ground. Ruminants need access to water. It's very, very important for their digestive process, particularly when they're on hay and dry matter and silage and stuff. You can see that lamb is drinking from one of the water buckets that I filled earlier from the house. They're in here, so they're out of the, um, so, sorry, so they are thawing with the, um, with the uh, body heat of the sheep. You want this bucket, huh? I bet you just think it's food. Isn't that right, little bit? Not little bit, ebony. There's Ebony, and here's Kestrel, who's almost as big as Ebony. No, don't fall down. Can you let me, can I put the bucket in here? <laughs> Ebony, get back. Get back, get back. Look, get back. There. Now, does any of you want to drink out of that bucket? <laughs> no, they're actually doing it. They're not that thirsty. I've been keeping them well watered. Anyway, oh, one of the horses is out drinking. Ebony just wants to get out. It's like, doesn't like being in the shed. No, none of them are drinking it. Okay, I'm gonna use that to refill the other bucket. So I'm gonna come in. No, Ebony, you're not getting out. I thought they were going to be really thirsty, but thankfully they're not, and I'm keeping them watered enough. Isn't that right, Kestrel? You beautiful girl. Everybody's fine. Good stuff. It just takes extra work. Who needs a gym when the mains are frozen? Oh, hello, you. You've returned, have you? Have you returned? You beautiful kitty. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do, this needs two hands, so I'm going to do that with two hands. <laughs> Time jumped over the, the gate to go in with the sheep, and they chased him away. You can see they're quite happily munching the hay. You would much prefer to be outside as well, wouldn't you? Yes. How does beautiful Kestrel? She says, leave me alone. They all would much prefer to be outside, but at the moment they're in. Well, the horses have decided they are thirsty. And drinking lots of the water that I've poured in. Well, not lots of it. There's still loads left. No, there's no food in the bin. The bin is water. And there's still loads of water for you. Yeah, you beautiful girl. No, there's nothing in the bucket. There's nothing in the bucket. It was used for water. Oh, you're still licking it. Oh, there's bits of leftover food dust in the bottom of the bucket. Yummy, yummy for a horse. Anyway, plenty of water. Yeah. You beautiful girl.